look like test. Then scream, hallelujah! When the children of a battle speak, a night of good energy, poetry, and music at the Inkwell in Brooklyn. I wish to kiss you. We're at the annual children's Christmas party at Tropical Paradise Ballroom in Brooklyn. Hundreds gather together to celebrate diversity at the Bridge Multicultural and Advocacy Projects Community Holiday Party. We chat with China Nicole about her latest songs and recent album Iron. China Nicole is definitely working and um, I'm very, very pleased just to be able to do what I love to do. You're watching Come Chat With Me, a Caribbean lifestyle magazine. And I'm your host, Ziggy Bless. When the Children of a Battle Speak is a collective effort of poets who came together as equal creators and promoters for the love of their creative art. I yearn for you, want you, need you, like you, like Sunday's rice and peas steamed in coconut milk. <laughs> I've been writing all my life. I think I started writing around age 10. And at age 11, I wrote a book and sent it off to a publisher in New York. With, it was an exercise book with all the pen marks and the correction marks and everything in there. I didn't tell my parents, I didn't tell my teachers. I think if I had told an, any adult at that time and they had helped me to prepare, I would have been published by the time I was 12. But I'm, I've come full circle and as they say in Jamaica, not never done before the time. So the time is now. Look, lick, taste, then scream hallelujah! This must be heaven, darling. I am reborn dreaming of you. I wish to kiss you. Your latest work, I should say, is sorbet and sweet potato pudding. You are correct, sir. Sorbet and sweet potato pudding is my tribute to black women. Okay. Because that's how I value black women. That's how sweet I think black women are. Yes. That hot sweet potato pudding with melted sorbet just dripping down. I mean, we can't get tired because every day there's just a different taste for us to find. And that's the sweetness of black women. My way of celebrating them is to put together a collection of poems that says, we love you despite the distractions, despite what the world is trying to tell you. You are our heroine and we'll forever be thankful for you. I didn't ever know or think that I'd, I'd get published again, but I thought I'd just write and put it down and my children and grandchildren could make use of it at, at a later date. But as time went on, I went to Jamaica, I think a few years ago, and I noticed that a significant number of my sisters were bleaching their skins. And um, being who we are, we love our people dearly. I started talking to them and find out, only to find out that many of them thought they were not beautiful enough because they were too black. And they had to do something to lighten their skins to guarantee getting a husband, to guarantee some kind of upward mobility and from saying things like well I don't know so I'm sweet you know yeah. I mean you're not sweet because no matter how you, how you fight against the black you can't get it out look how it will come back and one day I said to a sister you know my favorite my favorite um, dessert is sorbet and sweet potato pudding and you're as sweet as sorbet and sweet potato pudding when the children of Obatala speaks creativity becomes a universal language Sound explodes from quiescence, eternally recreating a song that brought the universe into existence. Music surrounds perpetually through their compositions. Rainbows, God's trademark, are reborn. Beauty descends and takes root. Poetry speaks in rainbows. Paint erupts in rainbow hidden colors in the canvas. Weavers rediscover the rainbow fabric woven from the spider web of life. When the Children of a Battle Speak is a collective effort of poets who came together as equal creators and promoters for the love of their creative art. A poem being born of a black man's love. 
if he's a true black man, he cannot dislike you. He cannot hold hate. Even when they lynched us, we were sad, but we still had hope. I lie like you meant your broken heart with hope on butterfly wings. I know you will dry your teardrops in the sunshine to prevent them from drowning your soul. Tell I lie about the glory of Jah, like you were talking about yourself. Show I and I the essence of beauty that can only be seen in the reflection of your eyes. Tell me I how you searched creation for truth and found out that you were a stranger's secret and how you wrestled with the cosmic serpent of your minds all the way back to the wellspring of the divine. Tell me I how you walk on the tightrope of life between good and evil and kept your balance with clandestine faith in this new age capitalistic whirlwind. Tell me I how you dance with the devil without losing your groove. This is known as when the children of Obatala speak. I wanted to bring something back to the community, back to the name of the people. Obatala, yeah. in Jamaica, we know it as, we, 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 know, we know about those things that Obia name and things like that, all right? Yeah. But Obatala is the one who wears white. Okay. Christianity and everything built, it, were built out of the Orisha society, all right? So when I say the children of Obatala speak, in Christianity we say the children of the Christ when I speak. In Rasta, we say the children of Rasta speak. In the, in, in the Yoruba, we say the children of Obatala speak. So you'll find one that one wear white yes, this evening, you know? Nice. But if one, people want to say Awobi, Awobi, I make them say Awobi because yeah. why? If we get ourselves out of the quagmire that we find ourselves in, yeah. we have to go tap deep into our spirit, deep into the spirit of our ancestor, and yeah. use whatever spirituality they used to use. You know, we don't need no bombs, we don't need no guns, everything that we, we, we need for break free of these chains, in a way. I started as a child, I started yeah. taking violin at age seven. Right. Um, I was an instrumental music major in college. I went to Virginia State University, a historically black college university. Yeah. I play about 12 instruments. I'm a Vietnam vet, and I was in Vietnam at the end of the 60s when the black power movement kind of like kicked off. A lot of my friends were sending me um, literature. A lot, some of it was poetry, but it was like taking an advanced course in black studies before it was available in college. I was an infantryman, and I decided I was going to, uh, I prayed to the Most High and said, look, you get me out of this mess alive and in one piece. I want to take whatever talents I have to, to upraise my people, to raise their consciousness to raise social, political, and spiritual consciousness through my work. I always loved writing and performing. I like to get on stage, so for me it's like, um, it just brings a different character out of me. Like, you know, like Beyonce says, she's Sasha Fierce. It's true, like I could, I, I could be dead tired and <laughs> get on the stage, it's like I'm a totally different person. Since I was a little child, um, expression of thoughts, uh, the deepest, deepest, innermost thoughts that are going through your mind all the time that, you know, there may be nobody around that you can tell or, you know, speak it to, yeah. and then you just release that energy Souls and of many into the universe. It's very the healing. World, the thing that they do, the government can tell you aliens are landing, we will save you from Mars attacking, this thing and robbery really can happen and they will be lying, but you believe them! Because every Hollywood movie has brainwashed, trapped you, out of deep space, lined you, alien UFO'd you, R2-D2, ET home phone. There's so many different Star Wars, Star styles and Star genres, and, and, and I'm into poetry, I'm into music, and yeah. I appreciate all of it. I thought it was awesome, different, vibrant, men and women, relevant, yeah. artistic. It was awesome. I love the show. This is actually my first children of Obatala show Obama so it was a pleasure from Tala beginning to end everything for him is pure everything is white we are called one of North America's largest carnival organizers host the annual children's holiday party every year as a random act of kindness to the parents who may not be able to fulfill their children's wishes many of the gifts are donated by local restaurants and businesses. Hundreds of children came to see Santa and received gifts at the West Indian American Day Carnival Association annual children's Christmas party at Tropical Paradise. How are you today? My name is Leah Antoinette Clark. I am a member of the West Indian American Day Carnival organization in Brooklyn, New York. And we are here at Tropical Paradise celebrating our annual children's event. 
Biaka just celebrated its 50th anniversary here in Brooklyn, New York. Jesse Waddle, in the 1930s, started the carnival in Harlem, New York. A lot of people don't know that. After that, Rufus Goring brought the carnival to Brooklyn, and he enlisted the help of his friend, Trinidadian-born Carlos Azama, who was also my grandfather, who helped him to establish the Western American Bay Carnival. Today, we have about two to three million people that celebrate this event every year on Eastern Parkway. Some of the activities that we're doing today include musical chairs. And we're giving out a lot of great toys. We're also going to be having a dance off. We're going to have a lot of food. And it's really great that we could celebrate certain customs in terms of the things that maybe I grew up with in my generation. Some of the kids didn't even know what musical chairs was. So we're having a wonderful time today. The community is having a great time and we're just out here enjoying ourselves. So my name is Jaleel and what and I'm having a good time and what I did to win this competition was I um I did a hit the folks reverse and and also I did like different kind of dances and right now I'm having a blast at this party, this Christmas party. Happy holidays and enjoy your holidays. and I love dancing. I'm happy that I won a prize. I just want to give you a, a happy Merry Christmas and have a nice day. Earlier this year, we had our first in a very long time, Miss Wiatka 2017. I'd like to introduce you to Miss Felicia Lamada. How are you today? Hi, I'm fine, thank you so much. And how do you like being crowned Miss Wiatka? I actually really enjoy it. Um, it's a lot of responsibility, but I'm up for All the right. challenge. So and I'm excited to just be doing something that contributes people. to my community. I have a little cousin who's here tonight, so I'm just, I like to be in the energy of children because they're just like fun and youthful and, you know, they're just their selves. So it's a really good experience and I'm having a great time. Tell me about your journey in terms of how did you hear about the pageant? Why were you interested in being a contestant? My family has participated in the Labor Day Parade for years, so I sort of grew up into, I guess, like the culture of carnival, and um, I heard about the pageant through a family friend, so I just thought like, hey, like, why not? Like, this will be a great experience. I did not go into it wanting to win. I just went into it because I love my culture, I love my heritage, I'm a Trinidadian descent, so I just did it for like myself and my family, and it's a great experience, so I'm glad to be crowned the title of Miss Viatka 2017. Celebrating our city's diversity at the Bridge MCP 4th Annual Community Holiday Party. The Bridge Multicultural Advocacy Project, an organization with the objective of uniting broken, vibrant, and diverse religious, ethnic, and cultural communities held their fourth annual community holiday party with live Middle Eastern and Caribbean music, free food, art, appearances by citywide elected officials, and an award ceremony honoring New York City public advocate Leticia James, 63rd Police Precinct Commanding Officer Captain Tito Romero, 
community activist Carl Elias and Secretary General of Moroccan American Council to Emperor Woman Mina Asareri. Shalom, Feliz Navidad, uh, Assalamu Alaikum, Merry Christmas, what's up? And is Brooklyn in the house? Four years ago, we started the Bridge Multicultural Project. It's one of the only centers that I know in the country where we do activities that all people come together, whether you're Christian, whether you're Muslim, whether you're Jewish, and we have events, multiple events during the year. We have blood drives, we have health fairs, we have Thanksgiving holidays, we have poetry readings, it's, and it's a beautiful art studio. A huge building, people come together, they view art, they talk to each other, and they get to know each other as human beings. And that's what we need in today's generation. People talking to each other, understanding that New York is a melting pot of hundreds of different cultures, and, and we as a community must speak together, work together, because we all are children of one God, and we all want the best for our families and for our great city. Christmas trees. How do we do that in one room? It's difficult. Different cultures, different people, different costumes, different food, different music. But we did it. We honor and we recognize him and that we all understand that that which divides us is really artificial and what is more in common is the thread that runs in this room and that is the thread of humanity and so all of us must stand together when anyone is under attack when our members of the Jewish community are under attack or our Muslim brothers and sisters are under attack or African-American or women are under attack all of us must stand together as one face against those who would hate us and there's more of us than there are those outside these walls. So during this holiday season, when there are so many people who are suffering from depression, we have more individuals committing suicide during the holiday season. We've got to think about others before we think about ourselves. And we've got to take a step back and celebrate all that we have. Celebrate our faith, celebrate our family, and celebrate our community, and celebrate how beautiful Brooklyn is and that Brooklyn should lead this way in the city and in this nation. The bridge should be an example. All of you should be an example. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mark, for all that you are doing. Brooklyn and the city is the greatest. You gotta make some noise. Put down your food and clap it up. One more time for Mark O'Kell for all that he is doing. Recording artist, educator. Appointed queen of the Waterhouse dynasty by former manager Fitzroy Francis as the first female out of the community to rise in the music industry. China Nicole's mission is to rebuild the community with resources for the education of children. Ayer, the first album from singer China Nicole, has done well on the regional reggae chart in the United States. Ayer has entered the Foundation Radio Network Top 20 Album Chart in New York City, South Florida, Top 15 Reggae Chart 
and the USA iTunes Top 100 Reggae Album Chart. Hey everybody, how are you? My name is China Nicole, and it's a pleasure to be right here at E2 Recording Studios, New York, baby. I'm so blessed. I'm very happy to tell the world about my album, Higher. It's all about elevating everyone, especially the queens. Black queens, you are black, you're beautiful. Aim to be high in life. Don't let anybody bring you down. Ed Robinson recorded the song right here at E2 Recording Studios. And he's a great artist and producer to work with. So it was a blessing. Just the, the whole project itself just came alive. And Ed Robinson also lent his amazing vocals on the background track. So check out Kiss. My video is out called Kiss Number One. Um, and I'm very pleased about that. Round and round we go. When will you come home? How I miss you so. It's been too long since you kissed me, touch me slowly, baby. Rock me steady, move me crazy. A mellow candlelight, the fire is burning. Your wish is my delight. Whatever you were yearning It's been a week, it's been a week And then I can't sleep What is taking, what is taking over me I try to sugarcoat it with a little honey I'm really missing my baby I want to tell everybody is about my song Killer Vibes That's coming on on the big Killer Vibes rhythm China Nicole is definitely working And um, I'm very, very pleased just to be able to do what I love to do And I can't forget about people who I work with. Big up to Challenge Charter Middle School and all the amazing scholars. Thank you so much. God bless. Thanks for watching. Come chat with me. Tune in each and every Sunday right here on CIN. We leave you with China Nicole's Kiss Music video. See you next week. Stay connected with Come Chat With Me. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram. And I can't sleep What is taking, what is taking over me I try to sugarcoat it with a little honey I'm really missing my baby Round and round we go When will you come home? How I miss you so Been too long since you Kiss me, touch me Simply Kells.